What is happening, guys? SmartHelping.com here, and I was just messing around with a thermometer type of style in Google Sheets to try to figure out how can you just have a simple set of you know entries. Like, let's say you're raising money for something. Every time you raise money, you put a value in here. Um, you put your goal right here. Let's just give this a big dark outline. The goal is here. Your values that happen are entered here. All the way down, I think I put formulas up to a thousand. Um, here you see a cumulative as well. And then we get this nice chart. So look at this. It will change. So right now it's saying, well, you've got $970 of your goal, which is 4,500. Let's say we change the goal to 2,000. Well, now you can see we're about halfway there. And if we added some, let's say we added another $250, you can see it moving up. You're only about seven, 600 away, 300 more, another 300. You see it just goes closer. So this is a kind of a cool visual to track. Um, actual versus goal over time. The trick, and I'm giving this away for completely free, um, you'll have the this link to this Google Sheet, which is going to be public. You can just click it and then go to File, make a copy, and it'll be all yours to do whatever you want with. Um, the trick was you have to have your source data over here, and that's why I left it unhidden. The actual is just going to be, you know, the, the total you've raised, which is just a formula. But the helper, which is going to define this remainder box here, is actually going to be your goal less your actual. And that took me a little bit to figure out, but I'm like, well, how do I do this with a stacked column? Because that's the only way Google Sheets will let this happen. And so the answer is you stack the column, but you make the total the difference between the or the the uh, the bigger number so one number is going to be the actual the other number can't be the goal because then you're going to get a stack column that's like 3,000 and as you put in stuff it's not going to make any sense but if you make the 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 original number actual the other one the difference between the goal and the actual you now have the total will always equal the goal and then as you have uh, values here this bar will start to fill up so, and I just did some grid lines here, just made some light minor grid lines, major grid lines. Um, but yeah, I thought this was pretty useful visual that can be used by organizations. You can make it as wide as you want or not. I thought it looked good about like that. You could also make it shorter if you wanted. And this is completely replicable. Um, you just copy the chart and make new helper values, but now that you know how to do this, it's just the actual, and then the difference between the goal and, and the actual is this number, and you just highlight these, make a chart, uh, put it stacked, hide the labels on this one, put the labels up on this one, make this one a different color. I just did a light gray versus a red, so it looks like it's filling it up as it gets higher. And that's about it. So enjoy. If you want to see more of my um, templates, you can go to put it up here. Put it right below. Check out um, https www.smarthelping.com. And here you'll find all kinds of models. I've done over, you know, I've got about 12, 19, over 100 I've done. Most of them are, has something to do with financial modeling or uh, tracking things. But I've got categories here. You can peruse and see what you might like or be interested in. They all have videos to accompany them and descriptions. 
what it does. Some Most of, our, of them are in Excel, but some are in Google Sheets. The reason I did this one in Google Sheets is because I like the look of it, and I like that you can do a shareable link. This might be better used in Google Sheets. Uh, if you wanted to do it in Excel, it's definitely possible. Um, you do the same thing. You just have a, a running or uh, you know the total amounts that you that have been collected or are, are going to be added up um, you figure out what the total of those is to make it your actual the goal is still an inputted number and then the helper is the difference between the goal and this and you just make your bar chart in Excel a stack chart sum up these two and format it just like I showed you here it's basically the same thing uh, so it's possible in in Excel as well, same same logic and, and structure. But uh, some of the things I've been doing at SmartHelping.com are creating new bundles for categories to make it easier if you want certain things. Um, and we'll just continue. I do accept crypto payments now. Uh, anything else? I guess that's it. Um, so I feel like you'll have a free tool here. And then if you want to check out more from what I have to offer, go ahead and I'll see you on the next one.